Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and it's my absolute pleasure, as always, to welcome you here. We're based in Photoshop today, guys, and the reason why we are here is to discuss harmonization, okay? What you'll be wanting to do in your graphic design career is use another layer, place it upon another layer, and you want to do, what you want to do is harmonize these to improve the color and the luminosity features between the two layers to make it look a lot more realistic. Okay, I have an example in front of you here. This lady was taken from another source image. I placed it on top of this woods uh, image slash layer here. And I used a tool called harmonization to make her seem more realistic within this particular um, environment. Okay, and what I'd love to do today is tell you the step-by-step -step process of how uh, we would do that. Now, like I said, we'll be using a tool called harmonization. And what that does, they'll harmonize the color and the luminosity of one layer to another layer to make it a flawless composite. And it's a very, very easy uh, process to do. Okay, so what I've got here on the other tab is our image uh, open of our woods. And I've already file place embedded our image of our lady on top here, like so. And what I'd need to do is I first of all need to make a selection around our uh, uh, lady here. So what I'm going to do is use the object selection tool here. And I'm probably going to go to the top of the screen, press select subject. That's a fabulous selection there. And what I'm going to do is apply a layer mask through this little icon on our layers window. Perfect. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to make this uh, layer mask uh, final. So with the layer mask highlighted, what I'm going to simply do is right click on it and apply the layer mask. Perfect. Now, as you can see, she doesn't look realistic within this environment. So what I would need to do is now start to harmonize. So with the lady layer highlighted, what I'm now going to do is go to filter and we have neural filters. Now we've been here in previous tutorial guys, but the one I would like to talk to you about today is as you can see, harmonization here. So let's turn harmonization on, perfect. Now what you need to do is tell the system what layer you want the um, lady layer for instance to harmonize with. And in this instance, it would be the woods. So if I come to the top right hand side here, what I need to do is find my reference image. And there it is, our background. Let Photoshop do its magic and work it out. And there you go. Very, very quick. She looks a lot more realistic within this particular environment. Okay. Now we have strength here that we can improve the strength of the filter if you're interested. Okay. You can see now sometimes you may just want to leave it as a default. But another benefit of this particular filter is you have the cyans, the reds, the magentas, the greens, the yellows, and the blue values which you can improve to so basically manipulating this image to make it perfect for your particular requirements. We have the saturation and brightness here. So obviously we can improve the saturation if we want to. I'd say a little bit less saturation than that would make it a little bit better. There we go. And we've got the brightness here. So if you want to make it a little bit brighter, you can do that. And if you want to bring it down a bit of darker, you can do that like so. Okay. Now I'm happy with this harmonization, okay? She looks a lot more realistic within this particular environment. One thing you need to be conscious of is your output settings here. We have three options of current layer, new layer, and smart filter. What I'm gonna do is use new layer just to show you the results. But obviously you could use a smart filter or current layer um, in the future. So if I now was to put the output settings as new layer, I'm happy with all the editing that I've done. I'm now gonna press Okay. And as you can see, if I was to turn off the uh, harmonized layer, the difference is pretty big. And that is the harmonization tool for you guys. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics as a school, the courses we offer, please don't hesitate in vis visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, check out our Instagram for some amazing work by our great and amazing students at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.